2016 paper. Okay, 2016 paper, we're looking at the first restricted answer, which is the data handling one. Okay, so you will get a supplementary sheet for this one. It will normally be uh, two, two sides, um, just in a single A3 sheet, which you can open up to use while you're also doing the question. Okay, read through the supplementary sheet for question one before attempting the question. So let's look at the supplementary sheet. So the supplementary sheet is on the right hand side here. Um, so we're told that malaria is caused by unicellular parasites in the genus Plasmodium. Figure one shows a life cycle with respect to its human and mosquito hosts. Um, so basically saying asexual stage in human goes to the sexual stage in the female mosquito and then comes round. Okay. It tells you it's a well-researched tropical disease of humans, but less is known about the effects of the parasite on its mosquito vector. The parasite, so there's another plasmodium, but this is rel relictum, um, causes malaria in birds. Recent study has been carried out to investigate the effects of this parasite on the mosquito, which is carrying it. Okay. In particular, two aspects were investigated. Fecundity, which is the number of eggs laid, and longevity, measured as survival after egg laying. We've got a box and whisker plot showing total egg production by large numbers of uninfected and infected female mosquitoes. So we've got our uninfected on this side and our infected on the other. Okay, you, you're told quite a lot of information about box and whisker plots and it'd be nice if this came up somewhere else in the paper and you could use it, but it might not. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the medium given. You've then got a point that tells you where the lower quartile kicks in and where the upper quartile kicks in. Okay, and we also have our values. So they're they're giving it for maximum and minimum. So they're giving you basically quite a lot of information about what that means without actually um, asking you to remember that. Figure three shows mean survival times after egg laying for infected and uninfected females. Um, so we've got a single data point in terms of the survival and we've got our range or our error in that one, range. Suppose. Uh, fecundity and longevity were measured in the same individual female mosquitoes to see if there was a relationship between the two. Lines of best fit for mosquito survival against the number of eggs each female laid were plotted for uninfected females and infected. And we've got our big, huge scatter plot here. And very glad that the computers put the line in. So our infected females is our solid line and our uninfected is the dotted. So there's, there's a lot of data points in there though. Okay, right. Go back up now and actually start the questions. The nice thing is they, they normally, in fact, almost always tell you, refer to figure two, go to graph one, go to, they tell you where you're looking, okay? Use the data to describe the egg laying of uninfected mosquitoes. So that means I am looking at this point here. And as I said, they've been very nice about giving you what each of these statistics mean. It's worth two marks, so I'm going to have to give two kind of bits of data. Um, I think the simplest one to read off is your range data. So your maximum and minimum range, uh, which is 240 and 20. So you can see that your maximum value was 240, minimum was 20. Um, that I think is, is a nice point to make and, and worth a mark in the mark scheme. And then you're looking for some description of what's going on here. So you can read off the median and you can see that 50% are higher than that median would be 170. Okay. So you can see that there's more than 50% are over 170 eggs, or you could see less than, you know, 50% have less than 170. Um, you could also read off quarter, quartile, not quarter, quartile ranges. Um, so you could say that 25% you know, under or over, um, or you could say that 50% are between these points here, between your upper quartile end and your lower quartile end. Um, I don't think that's too bad. They're literally asking you to read information off and they're giving you the definitions over here to help you. Okay. It then says, if the box plots were perfectly symmetrical, mean values for egg laying would be very close to the median. Okay, which should make sense to you. State what can be deduced about the mean number of eggs laid by infected mosquitoes in relation to the median value. So here is our infected mosquitoes. Here is our median value. So basically, what we're looking at is we're saying that the 
the mean is higher than the median. Because 50% of, of the data is higher than this, um, which means that 50% is higher than the middle of the range, as it were. Um, so that's going to give you a number that's going to be higher than that as a as an average. Okay, Dis or mean, <laughs> repeating the same thing. Describe the effect that plasmodium infection has on the fecundity of mosquitoes used in this study. Okay, so infection, I mean, it's a big range, so it's difficult to see absolute clarity of it but the shift in the median is quite telling so what we've got here if we look for our kind of tops and bottoms um, we can definitely talk about it and look at our median shift going down like that so basically what's happening is infection reduces fecundity and just try and make sure that you've got both the things in in the question okay referring to figure three so we're now looking at this data here, okay, which is our mean survival time after egg laying. Uh, data shows that infection appears to increase the longevity of female mosquitoes. Explain why the difference between the two groups can be regarded as significant. Well, this is because we are looking at our range in here. Okay, or sorry, not a range, our error. Okay, so in this point, we have no overlap in the error bars. So that makes it statistically significant. So no overlap in error bars. Oh, Aaron, I've no, that's, sounds like it should be in Lord of the Rings or something, error bars. Okay. Suggest a benefit to the parasite of its vector living longer. Basically, this is, this is the idea that if you're super effective at killing your host or your vector, um, there, you're not going to get very far. So longer life, of the vector means longer to pass on. So there's just more chance of transmission. And that's it. Transmit. Okay. Refer to figure four. Explain what the lines of best fit indicate about the relationship between longevity um, and fecundity in both infected and uninfected mosquitoes. Okay, so our infected line is a solid line here. There is a downward trend. It's not huge, but it definitely is there. Okay, and the other one actually is a sharper um, incline. Okay, here's our dotted line here is definitely doing that. Okay, so it's, it's there. Um, Right, so we're looking about for what relationship it has. So what we've got is a, a negative correlation. Basically, the survival and number of eggs drops. So as, as you increase uh, your number of eggs laid, you decrease the survival. Um, and that's, that's what you're looking to, to link in. Okay, so we're looking for um, increased eggs goes to decrease survival. Can't spell survival. Okay. Um, which is a negative correlation. To use nice descriptive statistic terms. Um, and it's more pronounced in your uninfected than infected. Okay, that's your marks. State with justification whether or not this data is reliable. Right, I I went with this one being reliable because there's lots of data points. And I thought, perfectly fine, that's okay. And then I went and looked at the, at the mark scheme and they said, reliable because large sample, fine. But then they also said not reliable because you've got lots of points quite far off the line. So basically, either was fine as long as you could justify. 
you know, so offline or off plot. And I did say I was very glad that a computer had drawn on the trend line because that is a pretty sparse, not sparse, sparse is the wrong word, in fact, um, fairly dense pile of spot of, of plots on there. So um, either, as long as you could justify. And that's, that's one of these big questions.